Today we're going to be making a poster, and that poster is going to be all about donuts. The idea is for this to be hung in the window of a donut shop, and it's supposed to let people that walk by know that the donuts made in this shop are made fresh every single day. If you buy a donut from here, it's not going to be a week old. So that's the idea, and I think the best way to showcase that in our design is to make the donuts the focal point. Put them front and center. So let's start by finding a good picture of some donuts. I found this image, which I like pretty well. So we're just gonna drop that in there and go ahead and cut out the donuts from the background. So we wanna convey that message that these are made fresh every day. And I think the best way to do that is to just put that in text. And it might be pretty cool to try to put the text behind the donuts. That way the donuts themselves can still be in the foreground and the made fresh every day message will be pretty easily readable and displayed in a large way on the poster as well. So let's go ahead and add in that text. Let's go ahead and put that behind our donuts. So the trick here is gonna be getting this text legible. So I'm gonna start by making these donuts a little smaller. And I think a big part of this it's gonna be getting a font that's nice and bold, but that's also not super wide. We can take up a lot of this room on the poster. So I found a couple different font options. I'm gonna try those out here and see what we think. I kind of liked this one because it felt playful and fun, which I felt like matched the donuts pretty good. So I wanted to try one more font style. Kind of like that. So I think the words are still a little hard to read. So maybe we could try putting some of the donuts behind the words. Okay, I think I'm kind of liking that. Now, one more thing I'm gonna try is instead of saying made fresh every day, I might just say made fresh. All right, I think honestly I like that a lot better. We don't necessarily have to have those other words in there for this sentence to make sense. So I think the next thing to do is to work on the background a little bit. So maybe we can bring some color into it. I definitely like that. So I think what we need to do now is go ahead and add some shadows to our donuts. That'll help really ground them into the scene. So notice the light on our donuts is being cast from this direction. We want to match that with our drop shadow. So now let's add in some shadows on our text that are from our donuts. I'll just make a clipping mask and then paint in those shadows by hand. So I think a cool idea might be to have some icing running down the top of this poster. So I added in this drip texture here, and it's basically just a brush that I had. It gives us this nice little duotone feel, and it makes the background feel just a little bit more interesting. So now I'm going to do a little bit of color correction on our donuts because they feel a little bit drab. Alright, so you can see how those really just kind of pop off the page a lot more now. So now to make the donuts even feel more 3D than they already do, I'm going to add a little extra lighting and shadow to them. So now I think we can go ahead and add in the brand's logo. There's a pretty good spot for it right up here. And so I'm just gonna mock something up for that real quick. So for this, I'm just gonna start with this little template I downloaded. I'm just gonna replace the words with Danny's Donuts or something. Okay, this will work. Put our logo on here. Just paste that in as a smart object. Right at the top and center here. So I'm gonna make that logo kind of match the brown of some of these donuts. All right, perfect. And since we're talking about these donuts being made fresh, it would be cool to bring some ingredients into the mix here. So here we can see the basic ingredients in donuts. So maybe we can find some of these in a vector illustration so we can use those in the poster. All right, so I found this set of icons. Obviously you can make your own if you want to, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna use these pre-made ones. And I really just want the outlines only. So I'm going to get rid of the fill on all of these. So I guess just one at a time, I'll put these over into our poster and we'll just kind of arrange them as we go. Okay, great. So we've got those all laid out. I think the bottom ones are still a little too prominent. So I moved the bottom icons beneath the donut shadows so that those shadows interact with those icons. I think that looks a lot better. All right, so my random little doodles kind of turned into these corners. It ended up framing the text. It adds a little bit more life to it, and I think it really helps us focus in on the textual part of the poster. And a cool way to end pieces like this is to make a layer that is a duplicate of everything you have in your scene and apply the camera raw filter. That just gives you a lot of controls that you can tweak and mess with to push your piece that last little 10% further. So we made those slight adjustments. 
I think it made our text a little bit more readable, changed our color tones just a tad bit and sharpened things up. And here we have the final result. I did make a few changes, like cleaning up the donuts, getting rid of some of those cracks in them. But the biggest change was adding in that paper texture that you see there. The texture really gives it some character, and you could easily imagine this being the same type of paper that workers at the store use to pick up the donuts and then place them in a box. And this is a quick mock-up I did. It gives us some idea of what our poster would look like out in the real world at our theoretical donut shop. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please let me know down in the comments. Also, all the assets I used throughout the entire video are in the description, so you can check those out and make something on your own. And if you do, be sure to post it on Instagram and tag me in it, because I'd love to see it. Thanks a lot. See you next time.